Hello, I'm gonna show you how to set up the dual GI tank system. So this is what you get when the DI tank arrives. First we want to open up the DI tank. I personally like to take the DI tank between my legs and then open the lid with both hands. The lid, we have a lot of reports that it's very difficult to open. That's why we recommend to use Vaseline and apply a lot of Vaseline around the thread here as well as inside the lid. Then the first thing we gotta do, we take out this bag, has three fittings and Teflon tape. We apply Teflon tape around the Gardena fitting. The Gardena fitting then comes into this thread here, one in the front and one in the back then afterwards I'm gonna teach you how to fill up resin we need to pop off the lid we can also use a screwdriver if it's too difficult we can like loosen it up a little bit then this is the stem we fill up resin inside of the tank and there's like a line and that should be the filling line we stop there I'm gonna show you real quick how a full tank looks like so here we have a full tank, then we push the stamp into the resin, push everything down till it's, it's a little bit difficult with the resin. Till it's completely flush. And when it's, it's completely flush, that's when we could, can put the lid on. For the lid, my personal trick is that we Slam it down a little bit and then start turning. But you will see after a few turns whether you're straight or whether it's out of center. This one looks pretty straight, so we're gonna continue. Again, probably between the legs is better than. It's very important that we're straight. If we're not straight, the whole thing might get stuck. Well, here, same deal. We have this pouch with the two fittings. And then again we would use Teflon tape, Teflon the thread up and put it in. Okay, let's come back to this tank. Let's say there was resin inside, we also close it, we put the lid on. Are we straight? We're looking pretty good. Good. <laughs> nope. Sometimes it helps, you can see by these fittings whether you're straight or not. Now we have a gap here, we have no gap here, so we're not straight, so we gotta find the right position first. Okay, we can see here there's little arrows. This is the way out, this is the way in. Now we have our garden hose. The garden hose comes into the DI tank, goes out of the DI tank, connects with the connector we have given to you, goes here into the DI tank, and from the DI tank we have another fitting. This short piece here. And that's why we connect with this adapter. So this adapter goes in here and also into the DI tank. And finally, we can put the Rhino tube straight in here. And that's how it's set up. <laughs>